to Hardware Husky. Today we'll be looking at DeBauer's Ryzen 3000 OC bracket for AIOs. Unlike traditional CPUs, the Ryzen 3000 hotspot is not in the centre, it is either down and to the right a bit, or down and in the centre depending on what CPU you have. This bracket moves the cold plate into the right position. Okay, let's have a look at the product then. Let's flip it over at first and have a look what it says on the back. Special tool to fine tune the CPU cooler position by properly aligning the cooler unit and processor cores. Heat can be dissipated more effectively resulting in lower overall temperatures. A must have for every overclocking enthusiast. On the front of the box it's got a nice embossed DeBauer logo and a little sleeve that pulls off so you can open the box. Let's get this open. First, there's a user manual with a large DeBauer logo on the front. Under this, we have a foam piece with the two screws. This is for the AO bracket to attach or hook onto. We have the actual mounts that go on the motherboard, four washers, and a little screwdriver. <laughs> These are the bits which are adjustable by Allen key, which is not included. Here's a closer look at the parts for you. Okay. Now, the user manual just tells you how to remove the old brackets and install the new one. And on the back, it tells you how to adjust the uh, CPU bracket for your appropriate processor. So let's quickly put this together and do some adjusting. First, you have to put them in place. Yep, there we go, right way around and screw these little lugs in. These are parts you can be adjusted, so just screw them in randomly and don't worry about the length at the moment. There we go, yep. Now to adjust the first one, this needs to be adjusted down by 3.25 millimeters on both brackets. This can be easily done with an Allen key. And just unscrew it and move it and do it back up. Do the same for the other bracket and adjust it down in the right direction as well. There we go. Next measurement we have to adjust is the Y1, which would be the top mounting bracket. On this one, we have to adjust it to 9.48 millimeters. So we we'll need a tape measure or calipers for this one. To adjust it, you either screw the lug in or out to the desired length measure again to check you've got the right distance. And for the second one, we need to adjust to 8.6 millimeters. So measure it, adjust, check readjust until you have it the perfect length okay. I think that's about right yeah there we go both adjusted on the X Y1 and Y2 now a sped up install When putting the pump on, you may bump into the NVMe heatsink. This can be easily overcome by putting the hook on first, then screwing the pump on afterwards. Okay, to test this, we use the 3700X overclocked to 4.3 gigahertz using 1.375 volts on a manual overclock 
called the Corsair H115i Platinum. On Cinebench R20, this bracket reduced temperatures down by 4.1 degrees C, as shown above. On World War C, it went from a standard 49 degree max down to a 45 degree max with the AO bracket minus 4 degrees. Using the standard mounting on Borderlands 3, the temperatures were 51 degree max. Using the AO overclocking bracket, it was 49 degrees max, which is a minus 2 degrees reduction in temperatures. Now, conclusion time. What do I think of this bracket? Well, I like it. It definitely cooled my CPU down on certain loads. It was easy to fit. The only problem I had was one of the lugs clashing with the NVMe cooler, but this was easy to overcome. There is a full compatibility list on the Bowers website, and I would recommend this as it definitely cooled it down, and it, like I said, it was cheap. Okay, that's it for Hardware Huskies. If you have any questions, put them down below. Please like and subscribe the video, and I hope I'll see you again.